So now that I have my tool to find, I want to verify that the tool is actually going to be doing what it needs to do. So here I'm just going to do a couple of finish tool paths. My first one, I'm just going to finish this front face. And I'm going to choose my tool that I created. That one, the tool is going to come in at our zero B angle. So it's coming straight out. And we're just going to do cut straight in, lead out. Everything should be good there. I'll click OK. So one more thing that I want to do here is that since I'm going to be moving my B axis from zero to 90, I'm going to add a reference point for somewhere where the tool is allowed to go to rotate into that position. So I'm just going to drop a point somewhere up over here. And then within this tool path, I'm going to say that I want a reference point at the beginning and also at the retract and then click OK. So now the next tool path is going to be a finished tool path on the OD. So just this top face here. Again, same tool, but now my tool angle is going to change. I'm going to come down to 90 degrees, which is going to change the cutting direction. Click OK. And then again, I want to use that reference point that I created. So this guy right here for both my approach and retract. Now I'm going to go to finish parameters, double check that my lead in lead out makes sense. So for here, let's lead in at a little bit of an angle. Lead out looks good. And then we'll click OK there as well. So if we back plot these guys, what we should see is the tool is going to come in straight. And if I'm paying attention down here to my positions for my X and Z, my X is one inch, my Z is 100 thou. That makes sense. When the tool comes in here, Z is at zero. That means that it's properly defined in that orientation. We'll come back up to our reference point, rotate the tool around, come down here, and here we have our X value. So now my X is one inch here, so I know that that tool is correctly defined. 